those vegan guys. I thank you. Morning. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. <laughs> and together we are Those, Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. And it's persisting down. It's a foul day. In Oldham today. I think we're going to the uh, tail end of Ian. Are we? The horrible Ian. Mm. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, hey, this is the last in our series. Is this the best UK supermarket for vegans? Uh, now, the reason that we've been doing this series uh, over the last couple of months is that we wanted to kind of measure which of the supermarkets if you say suddenly <clears throat> right I'm going to try a vegan lifestyle which supermarket is the easiest for you to go into and get most of what you need in one place clearly marked vegan that's it so we've done Tesco, Sainsbury's uh, Asda, Asda Morrison's I think that's all the big ones, isn't it? All the main ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And now we're here at the cooperative. We are at the cooperative, um, and we should state, uh, if you've seen our previous shopping vlogs that we've done on the channel, we usually go to our local... In Lees. In Lees, which unfortunately is closing down imminently. November. It's closing down in November. It's been sold, apparently, to Aldi. We don't know whether that's a fact or not. But uh, that's uh, that's what the rumour mill is saying at the moment. So we've come to uh, a bigger store in Royton, which is not far from where we live. Mm -hmm. um, but we're not familiar with this store. We're not. Uh, so we're going to go in. We're going to have a look at everything. We're going to check out the labelling. We do know that co-op is brilliant on labelling. And I already know of a few items that I want to get while I'm here. Uh, so let's go in and see, is the cooperative the best UK supermarket for vegans? You decide. Okay, so this one isn't a massive store, but uh, as we always do, we're going to start with the ready-to-eat selection. So there is this grow onion bhaji and mango chutney sandwich for £2.75. There's a sweet potato bhaji and a raita salad for three twenty-five. dollars um, There's a little mini vegan sushi selection. No, it's not £4.50. We've just checked the gram and that's for a 288 gram pack, which isn't there. So we're not sure how much that one is. Um, there's a grow chocolate orange Rocky Road bar for £1.20. Um, and there's a Middle Eastern spinach and pine nut falafel wrap for 3 75 So there's quite a good selection of uh, ready-made stuff to pick up for a sandwich, which is always good. Um, right, onward. Well, they've got a really good fruit and veg section, but, I mean, that's the same to be said for most supermarkets, isn't it? There's a, <laughs> there's a good selection of stuff. And then chilled in the grow range... Um, we've got uh, mince, £2.80. Uh, is that right? Sausages, £1.30. That's really good. Sizzling sausages. Isn't it? Yeah. £1.30. Well, look, haven't the co-op price matched? Yeah, probably. Yeah, price matched to meat and dairy. Amazing. Uh, chicken nuggets, £2.30. Uh, they've got some naked stuff up the top there which all seems to be three pound we've got meatballs burgers and mince um the richmond meat free sausages three pound uh three pound for the unbelievable balls meatball are they are they vegan have a look vegetarian vegetarian nice one jay However, what the clock next door is vegan, £3.30. Uh, they've got quarter pounders, chicken style pieces, uh, meatball marinara linguine. £3.30 or two for six quid. And as Jason spotted down here before, the, the, all of these sauces are clearly marked vegan. And they all seem to be £1.10. Teriyaki, chow mein, and sweet chilli. Um, 
and some nice rice noodles there for £1.65. So that's just one tiny little chilled section. Now, like we've said, this is not a massive store here. Um, but Jay's just picked up this ready meal for £3 to do a lunchtime taste test on. Got a collie because I've been craving it just lately. Um, and then there's all this stuff as well. Cauldron falafels, corn, uh, vegan pepperoni, vegan chicken, vegan ham. That's what Jason just got. That very ready meal right there. They've got some Kirsty stuff as well for £2.50. Lentil lasagna and lentil cottage pie. Watch out with your Kirsty stuff because it's not all vegan. No, but it says when it is yeah. vegan friendly very clearly on the front. More what the cluck. Uh, tofu, oh, got a nice range of tofu, which is always good to see. Naked, smoked, Siriacha, and Naked XL. Can't grumble at that. Um, that garlic bread there, Jason. Vegetarian. What about that one? Vegan. Thought so. Vegan garlic bread. Garlic ciabatta breadsticks, like Sainsbury's do. £2.50 kind of cool onward as always you've got to check your labels but some of the soups like the tomato and basil and the chunky vegetable um, and this Moroccan vegetable tagine soup that's a bit pricey at £3.20 but is clearly marked vegan so that yeah there's a few bits in the soup ranges pretty good Jason just spotted this other ready meal. So he's got one's going in freezer and one he's doing next week. Um, I've shown it you in the last scene, but Jay were like, oh, there's another one there, and they're two for six pounds for ready meals. And we spotted this Itsu Brilliant Broth Classic Ramen, clearly marked vegan. Uh, six pounds when you buy sauce, noodles, vegetables, and prot. Oh, that's these sauces, though, isn't it? Um, how much is that? £2.90, the broth. Pretty good, with some noodles. Marvellous. Also spotted, but on the, it's actually on the meat aisle, unfortunately, with bacon and sausages. This isn't bacon at £3, although that one's only £2.31. And uh, this isn't pork sausages at £2.50. Uh, I suppose it's good to have them there because it might make meat eaters think, oh, go on, I'll try it, uh -huh. you know. So, yeah, this co-op kind of comes into its own when it comes to the chilled sections. It's like, look at this, for example. The standard coleslaw is £1.15. The vegan coleslaw is 95p. The exact same amount, 250 grams. Uh, so the vegan one is cheaper. Look, 95p or £1.15. That's really, really good. And as we've just spotted, a lot of their uh, like classic hummus, uh, extra virgin olive oil hummus, uh, Moroccan, red pepper, they're all kind of £1.70 in that kind of range. Uh, the Marmite hummus, they've got a lovely salsa. And a guacamole, which are 170 and £2.10 respectively. And all of them are marked vegan. There's just a couple of items that aren't. This being one. And there was another one I spotted that wasn't vegan. These are all vegan, aren't they? Yeah. A lot of, lot of good stuff in the chilled section. Did you mention these? Um, Moroccan style couscous, 230. Italian style pasta, 230. And again, clearly marked vegan. Excellent. Well done, co-op. We're having to talk quite fast and loud because the music in here is like being in a nightclub. Why they need this in supermarkets, I do not know. But you can get co-op's own short crust pastry, ready-made for 165, and puff pastry for 165, both clearly marked vegan. And, oh, um, Oh, there wasn't a vegan spread there, was there? It was over here. Yes. You can get the Flora Lighter. You can get Vitalite. You can get Pure. Or you can get 
Uh, Co-op's Honest Value Soft Spread, clearly marked vegan, for 95p. There's quite a few of the pasta sauces as well that are vegan. £1.5 for a bolognese pasta sauce in a jar. Um, one seventy-five for a kind of special one. Uh, Sun-dried tomato, garlic and basil pasta sauce, clearly marked vegan. One seventy-five, And up here, there's a one seventy-five tomato and basil stirring pasta sauce. Uh, and then over here, also in the chiller, we've got some Alpro. So, you know, the standard price is 2 30 for the mixed yogurts, 2 24 Alpro plain, uh, coconut collab, and the high protein ones are £1.15 or 2 for one fifty. And they've got the coconut collab chock pots for 2 25 If you've never had them, they're bloody gorgeous. Trust us. We're not going to go through all the sauces and everything, but uh, there are some sauces and salad dressings that are clearly marked vegan. They, of course, have uh, Hellman's Vegan Mayo in Squirty, £3.80. That's, that's kind of dear. Mm -hmm. And £2.75 for a jar. However, it's good to see that Co-op's own baked beans in a multi-pack are clearly marked vegetarian and vegan and they're £1.70 for four tins. Unfortunately, the spaghetti only says vegetarian. But what about the thing, Jason, the, the ingredients? Uh, by ingredient... It looks to be vegan. Vegan, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. What about that spaghetti? Co-op spaghetti rings? Vegetarian. Oh! Now, they've always been brilliant at labelling, so they're falling down a bit here. That's got milk in it. Oh, it's got milk. Why would you put milk in tin spaghetti? Fail! Onward. There isn't a huge amount in the chilled milk section, and the Oatleys are all kind of £2.20. But Grow do their own. Milk, £1.40, the Oaty one. And they do have some Alpro, oats, soya and almond. Uh, and it's with the dairy milk, just so you know. But they do have a nice selection of chilled, so, you know, not bad. There is a four dark chunk, chunk cookies on the bakery section for £1.75. And uh, there are other bits that are vegan by ingredient, but not marked vegan. So you've got to, like, there's a vegan, don't they? 10 mini gingerbread bites. Yes. Um, so yeah, some things, not a huge amount of things. A little tiny bit more pricey than other supermarkets, but they do do a farmhouse wholemeal loaf, which is clearly marked vegan, and that's a pound. And they do a farmhouse white for a pound, again, clearly marked vegan. And I think they do a seeded farmhouse as well, clearly marked vegan. That's not actually too bad for a seeded loaf. No, and it's only one pound five. Yeah. Uh, but they also do a basic Honest loaf, uh, white sliced bread, 68p. Again, clearly marked vegan. They also do a range of co op own wraps, uh, eight seeded for 180, chili 180, tomato and herb only 115, and plain white also 115. All clearly marked vegan. We love to see it. There's only a couple of things on the cake aisle, but there is, there are OGS, uh, £3.75 for four cupcakes, I've always thought that massively expensive, and Grow do their own two chocolate cupcakes for £1.80, but I'm afraid that's it. Now as you know, we're not going to go through every item, but a big thing with us throughout this series has been the labelling on tins because we think we, we feel it really important that someone is able to just come in, look at something and see that it is clearly marked vegetarian and vegan uh, as many of the tins here are some of them randomly like the mushy peas oh sorry, the marifat processed peas it contains peas, water, salt and some kind of colour but it only says vegetarian so we can only assume it's the colour but most of the tins of vegetables are clearly marked vegetarian and vegan. 
including the new potatoes. Yay, we found some vegan. Because <laughs> we have wondered why some of them weren't. So yeah, and they're 74 p a tin. And look at this, we just spotted. Fray Bentos vegan bolognese to pour over pasta, £2.20. Never seen that in it. Oh, mind you, it says new. That's why I've not seen it before, Martha. It's bloody new, that's why. Some lovely snack crackers, sea salt crackers and rosemary crackers, clearly marked vegetarian and vegan, and just a pound each. Lovely. We've had a difficult time finding soups that are marked vegan, however there are two here. Uh, it's not co-op, oh it is co-op zone range. Mediterranean style bean soup at £1.5 and a spicy lentil dal soup at £1.5 and they are both clearly marked vegan. We've got the vegan carnation milk down here on the shelf and their own range of jams including the marmalade at a pound, um, strawberry jam 140, no added sugar jam 165, black currant jam, bramble jelly, they're all clearly marked vegan so that's pretty good. They do have some long life milks as well uh, on a separate shelf. The average price is you see them in more supermarkets really, um, but it's just good to see that they've got a good selection of them here. So yeah, milks. They do have three, four actually chocolate bars that are clearly marked vegan. Um, this one, which is 70% dark chocolate, uh, 185. Dark chocolate with orange, 185. Dark chocolate with raspberries, 185. They're all clearly marked vegan. Unfortunately, we can't find uh, the co ops on Grow chocolate bar, which you'd think would be here, uh, but it's not. We've heard rave reviews about it, so if you come across it, uh, do try one. It, that's in the Grow range. However, it's good to see some dark chocolates there, clearly marked vegan. £1.25. Bacon rasher crisps, they're clearly marked vegan, as are the salted pretzel sticks at 140. And look, ready salted potato sticks for a pound. We've just got some clearly marked vegan, crunchy, delicious taters. Sorry, look at this. A whacking great big bag sea salt and black pepper party mix, all different uh, corn puff shapes, clearly marked vegan, £1.70. Red pepper pita chips, clearly marked vegan, 180. And then popcorn down there, 95p and a pound. Big bags, oh that one's salted and then next door sweets. Yeah. Yeah, and they're both clearly marked vegan. Uh huh. Marvellous. So, you know, a reasonable selection. Um, and no doubt some of the other crisps are vegan as well. But we're not going to go through them all, we just wanted to show you a few and say, on word. So the only co-op own brand of cereal that we can find that's clearly marked vegan is these whole wheat biscuits, so kind of wheat bix alternative. One ninety-five for twenty-four biscuits. Not your fault, Paul. My fault because I didn't spot them. All right. But actually, mixed fruit muesli, vegetarian and vegan. I think that's the only kind of muesli. How much is it, Bromus? Granola. Um, two pound. Two pound ten. That's oh, not bad. That's pretty good. That. Yep. And they do have some of the branded makes, like, uh, you know, I know a lot of people avoid Nestle, but they are clearly marked vegan, and that's what we're here to show you. So, we found one of the Grow chocolate bars, so you know what you're looking for. We don't know how much it is, because it was shoved in the back of this box here, with free from buttons, which are also clearly marked vegan, but I've got orange in them. Can we stop with the chocolate orange, please? Some of us don't like it, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> Thanks. Um, however, the, we're going to get that, Jay, because I've heard rare reviews about it. Uh, so for you glutens out there, our lovely gluten friends, there are some things um, in the uh, beef free range and the, the kind of free from range, including free from fruit and muesli, clearly marked vegan at £2.70. Uh, and they've got like Alpro, chalk puddings, chalk milk and soya cream, all that kind of thing. Oh, they've got the Galaxy, caramel and sea salt, vegan and gluten-free as well. 
What are you pointing at? Did you get them? The chocolate chunk Oh no, but I will. £1.65. Choc chunk cookies. And are they gluten free? Or just vegan? Because this is like the gluten free, milk free, egg free section, allegedly. I'm not sure to be honest. It just says milk free. Right. Because normally the labelling on the side there it'd say gluten free if it was gluten free. Yeah. But milk free, so yeah. 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 165. Randomly shoved in amongst uh, other chocolate is Mrs. Tilly's Belgian chocolate vegan fudge, gluten free and of course vegan. Uh, it's £3.15 though. Oof. Oof. Sting. Oof. Co op have done it. Vegan. Mince pies. Ready for Christmas. Look. Co op. Six mince pies. Vegan. One pound. Vegan. <laughs> One pound. Thanks, co-op. And free from. So vegan and gluten free. Mm -hmm. And how much are there, Jay? Uh, there doesn't seem to be a price. I'll try and find it online. So your price is out. Sick of this. So they don't have a massive range of co-op's own brand personal care products here. However, they do have shower gel at 140. Uh, it's marked cruelty free on the front there and clearly marked vegan on the back. They've got a mouthwash at £2.70. Uh, again, cruelty free on the front, clearly marked vegan on the back, and you'll find that with most uh, most um, products from the co-op's own range is that they are clearly marked vegan and clearly marked cruelty free. Shaving foam, deodorants, uh, shower gels, they just don't seem to have a huge range of their own brand products in this particular store. Um, but, you know, what they do have is clearly marked, and that's great. Laundry detergent. Clearly marked, cruelty-free on the front, and suitable for vegans on the back. £2.55, or £4 for a big box like this. We used to use this, actually, before I started using Small. Small is a fully vegan uh, and cruelty-free company that sends you laundry tabs through the post in fully see recyclable packaging i don't have an affiliate link for them uh, even though i could probably set one up but i will put a link in the first comment because they're brilliant and we've been using them for a long time now uh, so yeah when it comes to household products as well same with like the bleach for example thick bleach lime cruelty free on the front and where did i see it there suitable for vegans on the back so uh, when it comes to home home care products uh, they're really good at labeling their own products cruelty free and vegan that makes it much easier for people to just come in and get stuff cruelty free suitable for vegans and that's just an antibacterial surface protector for 115 well done co-op when it comes to bows, <laughs> um, the co-op are really, really good for labelling on the back of both of those labels. So you've got a martini alternative there and you've got a sherry. Uh, we've had that sherry and it's absolutely gorgeous. The vermouth is £6.85, the sherry is £9.00. They're both clearly marked vegan. The blended scotch whiskey is clearly marked vegan. The brandy, the rum and the vodka always says on these ones on the back in words suitable for vegetarians and vegans and then with the wine selection <coughs> if it doesn't say it on the front in a word like that it says it on the back suitable for vegetarians and vegans and particularly with co-ops on stuff What's that, Jay? That says Vigano. No, but what is it? Rioja, but it's... Oh, it's, um, it's like a rosé, yeah, I suppose, like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, they do a whole range of red, white and rosé wines and spirits, clearly marked, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Christmas is coming, Karen. If a beer is more your thing, you can get four cans of lager 
uh, 4.6 volume, £3.75, clearly marked, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Fabulous. They've got it now. Like we said, this is not a massive store, so it's really good to see that they've at least got one row of uh, ice cream. So they've got their own range, £3 for vanilla cookie dough, 3 15 or £1.45 clearance, Jason, for chocolate ice cream. That's pretty good. Salted caramel swirl, vegan chocolate and blood orange, uh, Ben & Jerry's cookie dough, peanut chocolate chip from Northern Block, and our favourite, the classic Swedish glacé smooth vanilla. Fabulous. The co-op seem to be really keen on the Kirsty stuff. And here, all four of these Kirsty ones, they're all clearly marked vegan. Oh, what? Oh, luxury apple pie. Sicilian lemon cheesecake. Oh, nice. Golden billionaire slice and luxury carrot cake. All, well, £3.25 and £3. All in the freezer. Lovely. They've also got these free from chock sticks, uh, three in a four actually, four in a pack. Clearly marked vegan, two pounds seventy. And next door, strawberry and vanilla cones, um, clearly marked vegan, two pounds seventy again. And the little moons underneath, Belgian chocolate and hazelnut or passion fruit and mango. Very pricey though at five fifty. But some people say they're absolutely gorgeous. I would pay from a variety skin flint. Is it just us or are these uh, Magnum Vegan Classics usually cheaper than £4.15? I mean it's good that they've got them but it's a bit pricey. So not a massive selection in the freezer here but there, I mean there is a selection of stuff. Uh, classic Linda McCartney uh, and then you've got Grow Meatballs £2.20. Grow Southern Fried Chicken Pops for £1.80. Some of the um, vegetarian butcher, Happy Go Clucky Burgers, two seventy five. What are the club pieces, two fifty. Uh, spice sweet potatoes with chickpea parcels, mm, two fifty. Nice. They do look nice, actually. Um, they've got a grow incredible burger, spicy bean burger. These are all like these are better prices, two pound for the. Incredible burger, 150 spicy bean burger, 150 crunchy veg burger, uh, grow the chicken burger 250 and two chicken Kievs for three pound. Not bad. So that's another shop done. Now I think oh the chocolate bar by the way that we found at the back of a random box. Pound pound. Just a pound. So that's brilliant. Um, the weird thing is, this store here in Royton is bigger than the one in Lees. Yes. But the one in Lees has a better range. Of had. The, had. A bit, well, has. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. still open until November. Yeah. It's like there's a whole month of October to go through yet, Jess. Um, so, it's a shame that that one's closing, but you might live nearer to a much bigger co-op store. Uh, and therefore well worth visiting and having a look at definitely we've always found because we used to live near a small co-op store didn't we the mm -hmm. one on Honours Road before it became McCall's yeah um, and that's where we used to always get our wine from because it was always clearly marked vegan uh, which is you know an important thing when you're a vegan obviously very um, much so yeah so the, in some ways, the co-op is brilliant, particularly when it comes to their personal care and home care products uh, and how well labelled they are, and their alcohol. Yeah. Like, even their own uh, spirits and the fact that you can get a bottle of sherry and a bottle of martini rip-off, clearly marked vegan. Some inconsistencies, which we've spotted with other supermarkets as well, not all supermarkets... But yeah, this one is a little bit like Morrison's. Is like some of their basic stuff in tins are marked vegetarian, and they just shouldn't be. Yeah, uh, it, it 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 it's a bit lazy. I feel. Could you go to the co-op though and do a full shop vegan? I think you could. You could. You could. If and you... That's the important. That's what yeah. this little mini series of ours has has been all about. How easy is it for you to go into this supermarket and switch your product? Mm -hmm. to vegan knowing that they're vegan with a clear label 
I was, I'll be honest with you, I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't, because we don't come down here to this one, I was pleasantly surprised and they had more in than I expected them to have in. And there was also some surprise stuff there as well. Um, they seemed to have uh, quite a bit more in like the crisp snack yeah. selection and the, the sort of picnic snacky stuff that we focused on at the start of the vlog in the chilled section near the start. That was great. Yeah. Some really good stuff. Um, so I guess we should really, because we now know who the winner is. Drum roll. It's Tesco. It's got to be, hasn't it? It's the first supermarket we did in this series. It has the biggest range of own brand and big brand products that are clearly marked vegan. They're bringing out new stuff all the time. They've got the meal deal, the you know, in certain stores. Um, and they're consistent with the labelling. Yeah, and that's massively important. It makes it really easy for people. Like Paul said, right, he said throughout all of this, the whole vlog series, Paul said the same thing, is how easy is it for a new vegan to go, yeah. to go in and just be like, not have that stress of like, oh, I don't know what's going on here with Tesco. the ingredients on the back, the cross-contamination, it clearly says vegan, and Tesco are consistent with that. However, we should also say, because this is the end of this series now, don't worry, by the way, we'll be doing uh, festive shopping vlogs on the lead-up to Christmas. Um, but this was uh, just a, a, a little, you know, series of uh, wanting to let people know which is the best UK supermarket for vegans and from our perspective and the ones that we've vlogged it is absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt Tesco Tesco so well done Tesco however it's worth mentioning as well if you've never shopped with a cardo a cardo are brilliant you do you type vegan in to the search engine in a cardo we used to get a cardo shops didn't we yeah on a fairly regular basis sure. uh, and there's a lot to be said for going around to all the smaller stores like heron farm foods iceland um where you can't necessarily do a full shop but you can get loads of vegan items supplement your shop do you know what i mean you supplement with extra little bits and things. in fact iceland have got a really good frozen range yeah. Funnily enough, with them being called Iceland, you know what I mean? Uh, I will also just point out uh, and apologise for the ridiculous music and advertising in the co-op. Yeah, it's, it's too much. It's actually, goes go as far as to say, it's the worst supermarket that we've been in, I feel, for that. It's, it's not necessary. And yeah. even if we weren't vlogging, if we were just in there as customers, we said it would bug us both. It, well, yeah, I'd be one annoyed. Song, I'd one song, one annoyed advert. while I was shopping, I'd be like... But on a positive note... The co-op's doing great stuff. They're, they're doing great stuff. Could they do better? Yes. And uh, on another positive note, Tesco's, blooming well done to you. Two thumbs up to Tesco's. And we sincerely hope you've enjoyed this uh, this series. I think what we've proved is that you can go into every supermarket and do a basic shop. But when it comes to a full shop, including personal care and household products, there is no better than Tesco for a walk-in supermarket. Yeah. That's it. That is it, isn't we've it? We've done it. Oh, we've right enjoyed this series with you, loves. <laughs> we yes. hope you've enjoyed it as well. We do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I love you, Mr. Love you. Mm. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves. Let's get on about these bleeding rangers and have a sandwich and a brew. <laughs> Well, some corn chicken to make a sandwich. You don't need no that. Go on, on with your day. We're done now. I'm going to have to wait for the winter to de-steam from all our chatting. <laughs> <laughs>